Hey yo! Welcome back to my channel. I am She Bang Beats. Thank you for stopping by. And if you're new to the channel, welcome to the party. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and go ahead and leave a comment and turn on your post notifications and make sure you check all so you can be notified each and every time I post a video because we're growing and glowing together. Today, I wanted to make a beat out of stock plugins. I wanted to show you why you don't need these four, five, six hundred dollar uh, plugins to make a good beat, a fire beat. Use what you have, and all of those other things will come later on. I promise you. Just keep working. All that stuff will come later on. We're gonna we're gonna be making a beat with stock plugins in Logic Pro X. The only thing that's not gonna be stock is the drums, but you can find drums any and everywhere on the internet. Great quality, great sounding drums on the internet. Some for free, they have they have a bunch of free kits. Um, and they have some kits that aren't super expensive. So, let's get into the video. Okay, like I was saying, I'm gonna be making a beat with all Logic stock plugins. The only thing that's not stock is the drums, like I said because you can find them anywhere online. And some are not extremely expensive. Okay, we got our screen record going. We got Logic open. And I have two instruments already pulled up. One in Sculpture, which is, here I'm gonna go right here, Sculpture Modeling Sim. So let's hear this one. change those we're gonna do that we're gonna change these up we're gonna change it up on the second half up there of the chord we're gonna change the second half of the chords or the pattern I mean I want to speed it up In. Oh, this is in retro sin. Retro sin, right here. Stock plug in. Let's see if we can find another sound. Then we're gonna add some reverb to that. This is Logic Stock Reverb. What's this? This is Sculpture Stock Sound. Stock Plugin. Let's see if we could get another sound. Matter of fact, let's go in here and take some of this bottom butt out of this, the first sound we did. I don't have much, but just cleaning that. Man, I kind of want to speed this up. Thank you. 
Okay. Add effects. Let's go. We'll see what top pleasures are. Just make them chords and just make them legato. Either we're gonna bring that down the octave. That. Matter of fact, we're gonna make that lead or that flute more reverby. Let's try another instrument. We're gonna go to alchemy. Let's see what alchemy has to offer us. Let's try this. something to share with this electric piano we're gonna go back to alchemy go to browse hit pads go try layered ambient simple Key. I'm not sure yet, but let's get into our drums. Okay, let's have our claps. That we're gonna add actually, uh, and on this one, we're gonna copy and paste that over, but we're gonna add a a roll in there. the velocity on those let's see
rose and on this high hat. Make sure our 808 is in key. Again, we go to metering, go to tuner, then we press the key on our piano to see if it's in key. I'm pressing C and it is in and it is hitting on C. fire like you don't need every plug-in <laughs> that come out to make fire stuff you know stop letting that type of stuff slow you down or thinking that you can't do something because you don't have this it's not true make use of what you have <laughs> That is the end of the beat. I'm going to give this a little mix and then I'm going to let you hear it right after this. Did you like it? Did you like it? You did. Great. All right, well, that's the end of the video, you all. Thank you all for stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, subscribe, comment, like, turn on your post notification bell, set it to all so you can be notified each and every time I post a video. Thank you, she, bang, and I am out.